Hello and welcome to a quick video in my quest to show off all three current boss fights in Hellsign, the Supernatural RPG currently on Early Access. In this video, I was able to take on, I believe, the Kelpie, who I consider to be the easiest of the three bosses right now. But how the game works in terms of poltergeist hunting is that once you've got enough clues to determine what the boss is, including what their type and I guess special abilities, it's up to you to equip the right gear to give you bonus damage, resistances, and even improve your trap abilities. With the Kelpi, they are weak to incinerary rounds, which is why I'm loading onto my shotgun now, as well as those gas canisters. If this build I was playing with was a little bit higher in terms of of level trees, or I'm sorry, in terms of perks, I could also apply points to customize the gas canisters in terms of the gas pressure to do increased damage. And while it can certainly help, I've found that as long as you can get up to knowing all the traits, that should give you enough to get a win, at least for right now. I'm sure developers will be trying to bounce or rebalance the game as things go forward. So. As I begin to set up for the Kelpi fight, I'll quickly go over how this fight's going to go. The Kelpi can leave stains or like ectoplasm on the ground that slows you down if you don't wear hazmat boots, which I did not uh, figure to wear because I guess I'm an idiot for this fight. But right now I'm setting up the gas canister so that I have room to blow them up and cause the Kelpi additional damage. This was me kind of doing one final check including my bonuses. But, we're about to start things off in a second. Now the bosses themselves seem to be on the hard side, and I swear that the 300% bonus does not seem to be applying. And for anybody watching this right now who has gone to this point in Hellsign, let me know if you feel the same way, because I think I may be going crazy. But here we go. <laughs> And here he comes, and you cannot fight the poltergeist outside, because they will do uh, continued damage to you by kind of like poison rain or whatever. And here's me failing to dodge, but I got off a really good uh, canister there. Oh, jeez. Don't worry, I do win this. I, I wouldn't upload this if I didn't. That was a good blast, but yet, yeah, it's kind of hard to get their tails because of how limited the animation is. Now, that was a very good crit with my shotgun. Whenever a boss gets down to half health, they'll switch to a second form based on their third subtrait. But I think we're about to get a win, and boom. He is down. Or it is down. But... I'm just glad I was finally able to get a win for that. I'm going to try to get videos of the other two. But that's going to do it for this quick play. So thanks for watching. Check back for daily discussions on game design here. And on game wisdom where we send the art and science of games. And until next time, have a great day. If you're looking for another book about game design, be sure to check out my first title, 20 Essential Games to Study, out now. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy things, be sure to do all the liking and subscribing that the kids are doing these days. Check out our Discord channel link down below where we hang out and chat game design. And come back later tonight for our regular streamings. But that's it. And tune in for more great content here and on Game Wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games.